Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk today about day one of Foot Birthday, how it went, what happened on the market, and the insane pack supply that we saw on day one. Exactly how we thought it was going to go with the saved packs being opened, with the lightning rounds. Uh, but the thing we weren't expecting was just the high pack weight that EA must have cranked it up yesterday because literally everything that was in packs got supplied like crazy. Fodder, the foot birthday cards, you know, the team of the week, everything was supplied like crazy. So I want to talk about that, talk about this promo for a little bit and what to maybe expect today on Saturday and as well talk about these promo cards and what this foot birthday promo is about because honestly it seems like they've gone with a less hype team but they're going to be doing more SBC. And I think that's a part of the promo that is very interesting to see today, too. We'll talk about all the market movements, what went up, what went down, what didn't move at all. And uh, yeah, so if you want to drop a like this video, boys, I would greatly appreciate it if you were enjoying the content on the channel. And of course, thank you for the birthday wishes as well. It was funny that Foot Birthday started on TFA's birthday as well. But let's get into it because this is the team that was leaked, right? And we said, hey, we're feeling confident about those leaks from earlier on Thursday. And the team that we were expecting is exactly the one that came. We literally knew all about this whole promo before it was dropped, right? This is the squad we got with Mora, Mendy, and um, Sane were the ones on the loading screen. Actually, Perisic with that right mid 90 card. We did get the skill move and the weak foot boost for some cards. Plenty of five star, five stars in here. Plenty of five star skillers, which is pretty dope. Um, a lot of SPCs are coming. We're going to talk about that. They gave out engagement streak rewards. Uh, as an SBC, they messed that up a little bit, and they also messed up the first, the foot birthday gift reward too. We'll talk about that, but they did fix that. So I got like a mega pack or a rare mega pack from being the third tier or whatever, uh, but I was actually the ultimate pack tier. So I then got an ultimate pack later. Uh, I think some of you guys were in the same boat. And then the first engagement streak SBC was not working, and they did release that. But speaking of SBCs, this whole promo, in my opinion, it seems like they've gone with a lesser hype team in packs but increase the amount of SBCs. Take a look at this front screen, right? This is not on the web page. 12 days of foot birthday player SBCs. That means we're gonna get 12 legit player SBCs. And if you press R1, it's just like freeze, right? Foot freeze, we had these, you know, hints, right? From each different FIFA, they're gonna be releasing an SBC player. Today is foot 10, right? So. A lot of people are saying this could be Zlatan Ibrahimovic. There's a couple of other theories out there on who this could be today. Um, but it's just like Foot Freeze where we're going to have an SBC every day or every other day during this promo. Uh, so technically it's a 14-day promo. So we're going to only have two days without a Foot Birthday SBC. So there's going to be tons of SBC content over the next two weeks, which is a W, right? We'll talk about fodder as well because they started off today with a nice SBC with this Lucas Podolski with five-star skills. And that's the thing, right? This this is what's going to be very interesting about this next two weeks in Foot Birthday. They're releasing all of these SBCs very consistently. And all these SBCs are going to be played players in FIFA of past that kind of hit some of the FIFA legends like it kind of hits home right it just you remember using Lucas Podolski's in past FIFA's they've upgraded his skill moves to five star skills this SBC is coming in at 183,000 coins for this card which honestly in my opinion is not too bad now again I really think this is going to be similar to foot freeze in the fact that not all the SBC's are going to be good value but they're going to tug on your heartstrings a little right it's like flashback Robin flashback El Sharawi those types of SBCs, players that you used in past FIFAs, players that have played FIFA for a long time are going to see these SBCs and kind of feel like they want to do them, right? I feel drawn to the Podolski because that's a card that I used to use in older FIFAs, right? He's a FIFA legend in, in this community, right? So that's the thing about this whole promo is that it seems to be very SBC based because we're going to be getting a lot of these cards in the game through the squad building challenge section. So I'm really curious to see who it is today, but usually second day SBCs t tend to be a little bit better than the first day, because of course that first day, they want you to focus on those packs. Now, of course we got the objective content as well, Huntelar, which is a, honestly a really nice card. They're really pushing German and the Bundesliga um, links right now. You know, with the Sven Bender and Lars Bender, Bender Bros SBCs, uh, we had the, of course we had the Balak SBC, Icon Moments that was released not too long ago. 
And now we have the Podolski today. A lot of German cards and Bundesliga links on this market are way up. Kimmich, Goretzka, uh, just to name a few. That new house future stars are flying with all the uh, German links. I think a lot of people did Lars Bender uh, or both of the Bender bros. So we'll talk about that. And this is kind of just adding to that hype. Decent card, right? Kind of reminds me of Giroud, but it is 90 rated fodder. If you want to kind of get this done, win seven matches. Uh, also, I heard that managerial masterpiece is now 79 rated squad instead of 77 so uh more mbappes and neymars <laughs> to see in managerial masterpiece but this is the daily completion basically if you do the uh the, the sbc today for daily completion one was like 2k to do and you do these 75 rated player packs you do all four of these and you get yourself a mega pack in total at the end so uh if each of these sbcs cost you like, you know, two, three, four, five thousand coins. It's not too bad because then you're only looking at yourself like paying 20K for a mega pack. But just be careful with these because EA could very obviously um, make one of these SBCs like 10 to 15K to complete. And then it's not worth it because you're paying way too much for just one untradeable mega pack from this SBC section. So be careful with that one. That's an issue that I could see um, with that stuff today. Now let's talk about the foot birthday cards because oh man, were there a lot of market movements. Now we had the filter added in here in the game already. There was crazy, crazy supply today, right? On literally everything that was in packs. Um, it was honestly wild watching the supply today, being on stream, watching these prices move because these cards, they started what we thought was kind of cheap, right? I remember the first lightning round, the first literally 20 minutes of the promo today, seeing the Sambia card go instantly down to 200,000 coins. And that had my cheap alert radar going off because I was thinking about Mbabu. I was thinking about Reese James because this card with 92 pace and the lack of French right backs with links that this guy would have uh, in FIFA, I, my alarm was going off. I was like, man, that's looking pretty cheap. Now, I did not buy any. I think a couple of people in the stream did. So from that first 10 minutes or so, he went down to 200K, rebounded to 240, and then went all the way down to 107,000 coins on the PlayStation. And that was kind of the story for all of these cards. They had a couple fluctuations in that first maybe half an hour. And then after that, they got flooded until that third hour with the 125k packs that's when we started to see these guys rise back up sonny was down to 1.12 he is or he's back down in the nighttime as we talked about on stream these these cards go down they go up and then they go down again uh this guy was all the way up in the 1.37 range look at this down to 1.13 is what his lowest was all the way back to 137 and is now back down to 119 i do expect these cards to rise back up in the morning but the supply yesterday was insane insane not just on these foot birthday cards but on pretty much everything right now i'm kind of looking at cards again tonight i'm a little bit late to the party uh, because sane was down at 115 and he's now gone back up to 1.2 but i'm kind of watching this lucas mora right because lucas mora was about 145 earlier today and i'm going to check the supply here on him he's got some overnights at 132 a 7 a 1.5 uh so if i saw some lucas mora is dropping down into the you know if i saw like a 127 maybe I would get very interested in picking that up because I think this could be about 1.4 million again into the morning on Saturday because with these cards having five-star skills and some five-star Wii Fit upgrades, I feel like there is going to be some demand for them, right? I believe Tiago was as well almost up to 800K. Not quite there, but almost up to 800K. How much supply on Tiago do we have? Uh, What? There's no way that's right. There's no way that is correct on Tiago's supply. Yeah. But this card is really rare, and he is very, very, very hyped up. So I'm kind of looking at this Tiago, maybe around uh, 700K, because I think there's a possibility with all the hype that this card does have, that maybe it does rise up a little bit into the morning today on Saturday too, just as people want to try them out on their squads. So that is something that I kind of in, am interested in. Now, some cards that I'm noticing right away from this promo team that are very rare. Sane bounces around a ton. Tiago is rare, and I think the most rare card out of this entire promo is Jamie Vardy. From judging the pack supply today and just seeing his supply on the market, I think this card went to like 113. He went to he went from about 1 million coins flat, his absolute lowest, back to 113, and is now back down to 1.035. So if I see this at a million coins again, I'm probably going to go in. I know he didn't get the five-star skill boost, and it's not that big a boost over his uh, record breaker card, but the five-star weak foot is also pretty good with you know 97 finishing, 94 acceleration. Uh, this is an English striker that a lot of people want to have in their team. So... 
This is the team, of course, that we were expecting. Inaki Williams with a five-star weak foot it looks deadly, to be completely honest. This card looks nasty. Um, he had a nice rise today as well. We were really unsure on stream if they were going to rise because the supply was mental. They had pages upon pages upon pages. Uh, we knew they were going to drop again later into the nighttime, kind of how they're lower right now. He went from 430 all the way to 490. He's still kind of chilling at 490. Um, you know, this might be one of those cards that just keeps going higher into the morning. Uh, but we probably will have more lightning rounds today. So as we normally see on day two of a promo, what we usually see is panic selling headed into 6 p.m. of that promo day because people are starting to think, hey, uh, we're expecting more lightning rounds today, which means more supply. So that's one thing I'd be a little bit careful of in watching the market today is just seeing if there is panic headed into 6 p.m. on some of these really high uh, rated and rare meta cards like Sane, Tiago, Lucas, Mendy, Vardy, and, and probably Anaki because those cards might bounce back up right after the content drop it, because the lightning rounds don't really supply these cards as much as you think. What really supplies these cards is the saved up packs and we had so many saved up packs that were open yesterday. You can tell on my transfer targets, I was watching a lot of cards. Uh, a lot of these prices were from pre-6 p.m. yesterday. Kamavinga was down at 1.4 mil. He has bounced back up to 1.5. That was a really nice one. I made four moves yesterday. Um, I wanted to make... Th the cards that were really moving the most yesterday were the big coin cards. I bought this at 1.1 flat on stream. Bought this at 950. Bought this at 1.58. And I bought this early in the morning at 730K. So I could have been a little bit more efficient with some of my moves, 100%. I didn't flip any birthday cards, but that was because I got off stream literally right as they were gonna they were popping up so i wasn't really on um and, and involved in that rise but i do think there's a chance to get involved this morning with some of these cards rising back up now it looks like a lot of the stuff that went up uh into the nighttime was the really high tier meta right this messi was down at close to 1.2 he's up at like 1.33 at the moment i was watching a lot of icons those got really low some of these have rebound too owen was down at 1.2 flat almost He's up into the one threes now, but the supply today was mental. And I honestly think the reason why you didn't see some cards rise up a lot uh, was due to the fact that I think so many people today went out and bought SBC fodder or a lot of people's main focus today in FIFA was actually just to go and finish SBCs, right? They had maybe finished part of Mbappe, part of an icon SBC, uh, part of the Bender Bros, or you know the Messi Player of the Month. There's tons of SBCs that are out right now. Maybe one of the Icon Moments SBCs. And what you saw with that was um, people didn't go out and buy cards. They went out and bought SBC fodder. So we'll talk about that in a second. But just uh, again. Just to show that there were plenty of cards that did go up yesterday. Bergwijn is down at 550. He is now up. This Harvey Barnes is at 320. Supaslav was at 340. He with Huang He Chang coming out. He went over 400k. This was at 700 flat, and this was at 450. So Future Stars did really, really well today. It looks like for the most part, some headliners did well. Bruno was at 14 flat. He's 1.55. Um, some freeze cards like Mane did well. Kimmich did very well. I think De Bruyne bounced back a decent amount too. Some of these rare road to the finals did pretty well too. Sissoka was down at 600k flat. Jesus was at 750, I think, at moments. Uh, at one moment, Koulibaly was under 300k. So a decent amount of the market rose back. But I'm looking at a lot of this SBC fodder, and with all the supply that we saw today on cards that were in packs, I'm honestly amazed that this stuff didn't move any more than it did. Take a look at this, right? Allison is 85,000 coins right now. Take a look at what happened yesterday with the supply. He was 81K in the morning. He went down to 79 right away, right around the beginning of the content drop. And then look at how many people were buying SBC fodder yesterday. This makes me not even want to do a club stock right now because um, so many people bought SBC fodder that invested in it. People are going unassigned like crazy because they know there's a lot of SBCs that are coming out. And the move makes sense, right? It makes sense to buy SBC fodder right now because we're going to have 12 or 11 more foot birthday SBCs released as a part of this promo and probably more icon moments SBCs released, probably more icon upgrade, maybe an icon player pick, possibly like a guaranteed foot birthday or a party bag. We saw the party bag for the first time ever last year during foot birthday. But for me, if you didn't buy fodder right away when it was low, like I remember seeing Neuer at 62K today and now he's 67,000 coins. Yeah, he was down at 62K right away when the, when the, uh, 
the packs dropped, so he did go down, but look how much this stuff got bought up. And the amount of supply that I saw on foot birthdays today, um, think about all the supply that like this Neuer card had. So I'm just a little skeptical right now. I just don't know if fodder is gonna drop, right? What's gonna make fodder drop is you know something coming out that would make people panic sell their investment to go participate in some sort of you know either SBC or objective or whatever. Um, I do feel like that maybe what's going to happen now is since so many people invested in this fodder, uh, that it probably just won't rise as much because people have invested in it. And when SBCs come out, they're going to wait for it to go up and it's really not going to go anywhere. But some stuff is down, right? You know, 86 Alba is still 31,000 coins. Again, we were trying to get him around like the lower 30K range because this could easily go back up to like 35, 40,000 coins in maybe a week or two when we get more SBCs and a lot of that investment uh, supply is gone right um so that's kind of interesting 84s as well some of these cards have dipped down in price considerably too adrissa gay is 9,000 coins at the moment uh this guy was you know upwards of 13 14,000 coins in the in the hype so you know some of these 84s since there was so much supply today i think a lot of people went out and invested in this type of fodder right the 87s and up and that's why you're seeing some of these dudes um uh, actually rising into the nighttime right now is because people are still investing in these they're expecting more sbcs um but if you see what, what the um type of squad requirements they had for like podolsky today uh, you had an 82 rated squad and an 85 rated squad. So yes, that is going to require some maybe 86s and 87s for the 85 rated team. But uh, for an 82 rated squad, if a lot of these SBCs are around the you know 100 to 250 thousand coins, which is a very common price point for EA, um, look into some of those 84s, especially with good links, because I think Podolski both of the re the chemistry requirements here were 70 and 75. So especially your center backs. I don't know if those dropped today at all, like Sule or Alaba, maybe your center backs that are 85 rated or maybe even 83 rated center backs. Um, but that would be with the chemistry being higher on these. If those are low, maybe you look at some of the lower rated fodder um, for a potential pickup or club stock instead of that higher rated stuff. But of course, it also sucks because you're like, man, what if uh, what if Zlatan comes out today? I, I want to do that SBC. Well, fodder may not move that much because people might actually go out and just sell it uh, because they think it's going to go up. They don't see it going up. They grow impatient with their investment. They don't like staying unassigned or having their coins tied up in an investment. And those coins, honestly, fodder, I could just see moving kind of steady this week and not moving around too much on the higher tier unless we get like an icon moments or some sort of like prime player pick. Upgrade SBC, that would be something, or a party bag that I think would still move uh, the fodder market. But I think there's so many people invested, I'm a little bit scared on that fact uh, in the moment right now. So just to show you again, though, with 83s dropping down so low, remember when I talked about Chicharito being a good value SBC? He's back, 61,000 coins. I knew this was going to happen as an 89 rated card. He is the cheapest 89 rated card in the game right now. Neuer and Aguero on these guys being 67, 68,000 coins. So this is a GG. If you want to go do Chicharito right now, I think there was another squad that required an 83. Um, but your 83s and your 84s are decently low at the moment. Um, you know, some of those lower rated SBC squads are going to be cheaper to do because of that. I wish the 83 times 10 was still out because I would do that right now because it would probably be a lot cheaper than what it was. Uh, Informs as well dropped because the team of the week got massively supplied uh, today and that did drop some informs, but I think those are starting to rise back up a little bit as people saw that they're going to buy some of them and uh, you know put them in their club because they know that more SBCs are going to be coming that do require some of those informs. So it was a crazy day on the market, right? Now I've got some stuff on a sign because I opened my uh, second engagement reward pack. I actually packed uh, Inform Mertens in that one, so that was very nice to have a high-rated Inform for fodder that is in the club. Uh, I did pack Sambia today. I packed Sambia um, from my 100K pack from Objectives. So that is a card that I now have in the team. I don't think I have it added to my squad, but I did get that one. This is what the squad is looking like at the moment. I finished Giroud. I've got my untradeable Ziyech up here chilling as well. So we'll see what happens for Weekend League. I'll try to get my 11 wins and get out. But uh, yeah, man, it was a crazy, crazy day with the supply on these foot birthday cards. Again, the percentage points on these were interesting, right? They were, I think the 100k pack lightning round had 4%, which is pretty high, uh, but not crazy high. It's not the highest we've ever seen. 
but it's pretty high pack odds for new promo cards. Um, so that's kind of interesting to see. Now, this Lucas, is he bouncing back up? I really, really, really want to see one of these at like um, 1.27. I, You know what? I probably should be buying one of these at about 1.3 if I can, but I just... I. I'm a little skeptical on this Lucas card because I really don't feel like this should be 1.3 million as it is. But of course, the brand new foot birthday cards are hype. He's got five star skills. So I'm going to check the overnights on this. Maybe he goes back up into the 1.4s into today. I think Sane is already on his way up. Um, maybe the Tiago is something we could mess around with today. But if you, if you traded with these foot birthdays yesterday and made coins, GG's, there was a lot of people that also lost coins because they were also thinking that... Um, we kind of had to make a split second decision, right? In the first 30 minutes to say, yo, this supply on these cards looks insane. We're going to hold off and not try and buy them. We're not going to buy them because the supply looks really mental. So I'm still a little bit worried about the supply, maybe hindering some of the rise on these cards into today on Saturday. But uh, I mean, this card right here, I think is one of the most hyped up ones. Five star, five star, 95 acceleration. 71 sprint speed so he can get up to speed but it's just not very fast 95 agility 94 balance um with some pretty nice traits as well so i'm curious to watch some player reviews for some of these new cards as well with the uh, skill moving weak foot upgrades just to see how well they do in game and how fun they are but i am expecting again today on saturday again that player sbc up here at the front that striker from uh foot 10 also i would expect the second sbc uh objective whatever the tiered objective, the themed objective, whatever it is, that's probably going to come out today as well. So um, lightning rounds as well. So again, watch for the supply uh, again, maybe a little bit today, but watch for the panic on the high tier cards uh, pre 6 p.m. UK. Now I will say this, right? I will say this. I still think this Sambia card is too cheap. 124K with the links this guy provides. Um, maybe headed out of this weekend without a lot of pack supply this could be a card that does go up i know we just had the bender bros sbcs uh but depending on how good this guy is in game i still feel like that is just way too cheap so with those kind of stats the pace that that guy has the links that he's going to have as well i just feel like that's pretty cheap so we'll see what happens with this team of course um honestly i will say one more thing out of packs icons i think we're the number one most consistent W today. I keep kind of going back in and talking about stuff and making this video longer, but Kenny Dog Leash was like 710,000 coins. He went up to about 800K, I think, at a high point. Uh, I was watching Middle Lom today as well because I knew this is one of the most popular versions of him. He was down to about 820K. He's now up to 900, so the massive rise on that card. Um, base Cantona was about 1.1 mil flat. Did he go back to 1.2? He is right at 1.2. So not insane rises on most cards. There were some insane rises on some cards out there today. Uh, like again, some of these um, future stars items, like this Florian Newhouse, I think it's like 180,000 coins right now. He was 150 this morning. So percentage point wise, that's a huge, huge rise. Um, and then of course, your, your usual suspects, Mbappe, um, Neymar, these guys kind of actually went a little bit lower today because they um, just got supplied so, so much. It was crazy. Uh, and you also had some new storyline players, right? Lamella's pretty dope. Um, Gomes, I'm not really sure about these guys. I'm never going to get to level 30 anyway. This is Varan is very high, so GG's there if you got involved with that. So, you know, some of these cards did bounce up a decent amount. The rare higher tier meta cards did bounce up really well. Um, and then today on Saturday, I, you know, you might see a little bit of weakening sell-off depending on what that SBC is. We'll see. That's going to be the main point today is what this foot 10 SBC is going to be. If that is like a Zlatan or something like that, that would be an SBC a lot of people would want to do. I think people are investing in maybe in Kessie and some other of those cards for possible links to Ebra. So just be careful with those if you have them because there is some potential uh, people investing on those right there. But that's the video for today, boys. Let me know what you guys think about the foot birthday promo down below. What you guys think about the whole SBC fodder situation. Did you buy fodder today? I didn't. I'm kind of, you know, maybe going to club stock some 83s or 84s. But other than that, I'm probably going to steer clear just for now. And then maybe we still haven't had that 86 double upgrade SBC. That could be something that comes out today on Saturday as well, um, as EA maybe helps us get some fodder in our club for all of these SBCs. But if you enjoyed it again, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.